I think actually what really inspired me was the Karate Kid movies. As a kid I saw those and I really wanted to try it out and become a martial artist. But uh, my dad told me that you'd have to break bricks or blocks of ice with your bare hands or your forehead even. As an adult I know there's no proper dojo which would ever force a kid to do that, but that completely scared me off of the idea. To this day I still don't know whether my dad actually thought so or he just couldn't afford having me go to classes and had to come up with some kind of excuse. In the Draw My Life video I actually shared the moment where I was inspired to take up classes many years later. I was 24 years old actually at the time and I just passed by and there was this poster and I decided to go to class and I've never looked back since. I've come to realize that most martial artists are like the most peaceful people you'll meet and don't tend to get into any conflicts or situations. I think I've been like two altercations in my life and I've been really good at avoiding conflicts whenever possible. I just earned my black belt recently in Meishu Kung Fu and I've also been a nominated uh, for an award in Italy where I'll be attending the event there. But that's not really what's important to me. To me it's always been more about the journey than the accomplishments. And I think as a human being what's important to me is to represent my true values and also that means being a good person to others and to myself of course. Now as a martial artist uh, there's more than one thing like self-defense is important for me and I know for a fact that I can defend myself much better than when I started early on and I hope to grow in that regard as well because it's an ongoing process like everything in, in life and in martial arts. Another thing which is key for me in martial arts is to maintain the fun, like to really enjoy the experience and I plan on practicing martial arts for the, as long as I live which hopefully will mean many decades to come. So yeah, just like having fun and learning and growing, but never really focusing on the results or the outcomes or accomplishments or anything like that. I don't really believe in perfection actually. I read a quote once which said that perfection, once you start moving towards it, you'll realize that it's like a moving target. And I think also a lot of times what appears to be perfection on the surface is more like an image which people present, especially with social media. And I try to avoid that with the content I make. I'm, I'm proud of the skills I have and I expect to become a lot more skilled and that's just part of the journey. But I also make a lot of mistakes and I make sure to show them every time because I think that's much more encouraging than seeing like only the best moments of a martial artist because I think you need to see that everyone's imperfect and that those skills are attainable be it martial arts or anything else if you apply yourself then it's gonna be a journey of mistakes and eventually you'll get there. I think meditation, really anything can be a form of meditation if you're fully focused and if you're mindful of what you're doing. To me, a lot of times martial arts becomes like a meditation through movement just naturally without thinking about it because I'm very passionate about it so I'm very much focused and in the moment for the most part, not always. There's also the classical form of meditation where you sit down and you focus on your breathing, which is very common in a lot of traditional martial arts. And, and I think it's great because it's important in martial arts to focus both on the yin and the yang. And you need to hone not only your body, but your mind as well. And meditation is great for that. But I think really, in regards to meditation, sometimes I also purposely seek out 
to use my martial arts as a form of meditation. I will focus on one thing in specific, perhaps precision or power and explosiveness or just something in specific. Just like how you might sit down and close your eyes and focus on the sounds or focus only on your breathing or something in particular. Positive thinking will always like improve your chances in life. You're more likely to see advantages or opportunities in certain situations and you're also more likely to have the energy to keep going and keep trying to persevere if you're experiencing hard times. In regards to the law of attraction, in some ways I think it's like it may the effects will be positive in most cases but Perhaps the cause isn't that there's like a mystical force in the universe and that your mind actually physically manifests. Perhaps it's more like the fact that we are psychologically influenced people and that like positive psychology will usually produce a positive outcome. However, when thinking about it in regards to some science and also what I've heard about yoga philosophy, there's the perspective that everything is energy. And in regards to that, I'm perhaps not intellectual enough to fully see the full picture, but it kind of makes sense for me that when you're sending some kind of energy out in the world, it will physically manifest somehow. So I'm not certain, but I do try to practice both visualization and positive thinking and like going back to my draw my life video i mentioned three to four goals or something which i kind of crossed off at that point in my life because they seemed unattainable but i've noticed how when i started like really picturing and visualizing that happening for me it actually started happening like for one thing Getting an apartment which seemed almost impossible for me, I've been saving up for years to afford one and it was around the time when I really started focusing on that actually happening, it was around the time where it happened. But perhaps I was just focusing on it simply because it was clear to me that it was actually possible and uh, at that point after having saved up that much money. So I'm not really sure where I stand on the law of attraction, but I think it can be very empowering whether or not the cause of it is mystical or it's more psychological. I wasn't dealt the best deck of cards in life. I come from a bit of a broken home. I think my parents did a great job with the cards they were dealt themselves. But I came from a home with drug addiction and mental, mental illness and I also spent some years on orphanages. So I've had some difficulties I've had to overcome. But I think it's been my experience that it's important to just keep going and to keep trying to better your situation. And when you can't better your situation, because that's not always possible in that exact moment where you're at, then try to focus on the positive and realize everything you got instead of everything you haven't got. There's always a yin and a yang to everything. So I think that's very much key and if someone's watching and they feel like the situation is hopeless, I think the important thing is just to not give up. I think if you keep trying to better your situation, then eventually the, the tides will turn and there's no telling when, telling when that will happen but if you give up it won't 